A castle fit for a king. Well, king of the oysters, that is. The Navy is outfitting Lafayette River Annex with these new homes for oysters in Norfolk. It helps with oyster restoration, but also protects the shoreline. New at 5, 10 on your site's photojournalist Jack Noonan shows us how. I just don't want you to miss out on anything you want to do. I'm Pam Boatwright with the Elizabeth River Project. And we're out here at Naval Support Activity Hampton Roads at the Lafayette River Annex. A hanging over one there. Okay. To install oyster castles. An oyster castle is a concrete block um, uh, made of aggregate that allows uh, oysters to attach to. So in a few years, we hope that you won't really see the blocks, that it'll just be one great oyster reef. So this uh, castle reef adds uh, the ability to protect the shoreline and wetland from erosion. We have a beautiful wetlands here. Wetlands are really important for the ecosystem. They buffer waves, sediment, fallout. The annex here has been oyster gardening as well. So there's a lot of oyster habitat restoration going on here already. But we thought these oyster castles would be a good um, addition to help provide some more vertical um, oyster habitat substrate and also that vertical hard surface is going to help those uh, wetlands from eroding anymore. Over the years the, the oyster population is growing. We're getting larger oysters uh, and in return uh, cleaning more water in the, in the river. Oysters have been banned from eating in the whole entire Elizabeth River since the 1920s. But you know Maybe it'd be neat if it got so clean that you could actually eat oysters um, sometime in the future. Who knows? <laughs>